Hi guys, welcome to electronics to the point. In this video, we will see the various operations performed on the signals. In our last video, we have seen the different types of signals which are involved in the evaluations of signals and systems. From the basics parts, we are continuing to the next part which is the application of different operations on the signals like time delay or time advancement time reversals and time shift time scalings for this we have to consider a reference input let me take the rectangular input which i have considered in my previous exam uh, previous video let us see take this is from minus 1 to 1 and the magnitude be 1 let this be f of t f how can we represent mathematically f of t is equal to magnitude 1 from where minus 1 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 1 and 0 elsewhere right now we shall perform various operations on these signals first coming to time scaling see time scaling what is meant by time scaling time scaling is nothing but we have to multiply the augment of f of t that is time with a constant see let us represent it as f of a t a is the scaling factor now how to represent this from our previous consideration we will apply the scaling on this see for this input from minus 1 to 1 with magnitude of f of t we will apply we will multiply a to the time a into t so that what happens the mathematical representation changes to f of t is equal to 1 where minus 1 less than or equal to this argument becomes t to a t less than or equal to 1 and 0 elsewhere as it is now what happens is this argument minus 1 less than or equal to a t less than or equal to 1 is there right now what we do is this a will be sent to both sides of this argument so that a when comes here minus 1 by a less than or equal to t less than or equal to 1 now this is this will be our new statement f of t is equal to 1 where minus 1 by a less than or equal to t less than or equal to 1 by a okay now zero elsewhere now how to perform time scaling let us take the value of a b 2 let a is equal to 2 then what happens this equation uh, this mathematical representation changes to f of t is equal to 1 where minus 1 by 2 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 1 by 2 right now what happens this minus 1 and 1 these are now the they got new values minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 see the difference is this 1 got decreased to 1 by 2 so what we can say is this is compression right compressing is nothing but we any large quantity is suppressed or bring brought together to a small point is called compression so we are giving this the name compression right the new graph will be from minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2 okay there will be no change on the magnitude 1 see this height 1 okay f of 2t this is called compression if there is compression its opposite expansion to exist right now what happens is let us consider value of a is equal to some 1 by 2 okay now what we can say this f of t mathematical statement is represented as f of t is equal to 1 for minus 1 less than or equal to this argument now what we said a t right so we are putting a equal to 1 by 2 so t by 2 will be the new argument 
so t by 2 less than or equal to 1 0 elsewhere now this 2 send this side so that argument will be the time itself so f of t will be 1 where minus 2 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 2 this is our new mathematical statement what we can say from minus 2 to plus 2 value is 1 previously the reference input is 1 and now it got changed to minus 2 and 2 so what we can say it changed to 1 to 2 so this is an expansion already this was 1 and this got expanded to 2 so this is operation is time expansion now our graph changes to minus 2 to 2 and point of remember is magnitude does not get affected by this operation ok this is the time scaling operation f of t by 2 this is called expansion in time ok now the next exam next operation is time shifting time shifting what we can say this about this time shifting is shift may be left or right okay now let us consider this be time axis this point be 0 0 represents this is a plus infinity and this is minus infinity this is the present value and present in the sense this is now today right now this is the future instance and this is the previous instance ok now what we can say is time shifting to the right in the sense we are giving time delay how to represent time delay f of t minus t naught this represents time delay how we can say time delay now i have to explain this video now i have to explain this video but due to some problem i am explaining this video two seconds after after so what we have to do present for the present time i have to add plus two seconds so that after two seconds only i will explain this shifting operation so i am giving some delay to myself of two seconds so we can represent that delay as f of t minus t naught why i have presented minus t naught because this argument t minus t naught is equal to now let us see this uh, this is 3 pm this is my present state 3 pm now if i add this delay of uh, half an hour okay t minus half an hour is 30 minutes then what i can say t is equal to 3 hours plus 30 minutes what we can say 3 and half hours that is 330 actually i have to explain this video at 3 but a delay of 30 introduced so 3 and half hours that is 3 hour 30 minutes i have i will after giving this 30 minutes delay at 330 i have to explain this video right this is how we tell the time shifting that is delay what is meant by time advance actually we know that we cannot go into the past okay that is the advancement is not possible time advancement is nothing but here something which is occurring before that is let us consider this is the present point of time something which occur before this present point of time will be the advance right something which known in advance this can be represented as f of t plus t naught this is the time advancement now this t plus t naught how to represent uh, explain this 
let us consider the example we considered before from minus 1 to 1 the magnitude of 1 this is the f of t signal now i want to explain this time delay and time advancement using this example f of t mathematical statement from minus 1 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 1 and 0 elsewhere now what i am now explaining the time delay put f of t to t minus t naught in the argument f of t minus t naught is the delay now i want to give a delay of delay of t naught is equal to 2 now what happens these points are there right on the graph t minus put t naught is equal to 2 t minus 2 is equal to minus 1 and t minus 2 is equal to this 1 so t equal to value minus 1 plus 2 t equal to 1 plus 2 this will be t equal to 1 comma t equal to 3 now what we can say is this minus 1 value shifted to plus 1 plus 1 value shifted to 3 the time delay this is the delay part 1 3 this is the new representation of f of t minus 2 this is the 2 delay see this is our present point of time but giving a delay of 2 we got this graph shifted to 1 to 3 this is the delay now how to represent time advance time advancement is f of t plus t naught right this time ad advancement can be explained by let us consider t naught be 2 t naught be 2 so what happens f of t plus 2 this is our advanced equation how to do t plus 2 is equal to minus 1 this argument this argument equated to the points on this time axis plot and t plus 2 equal to 1 what happens t equal to minus 1 minus 2 t equal to 1 minus 2 t equal to minus 3 and t equal to minus 1 what happens is this minus 1 value gone to minus 3 that this present graph got advanced to minus 3 minus 1 how the graph represents is this is minus 3 minus 1 see this graph actually it is in present point of time but minus 3 minus 1 these these are advanced values so f of t plus 2 got advanced to minus 3 and minus 1 this is how time shifting will be done now our next process next one is to time reversal what is meant by time reversal time reversal let us consider the uh, f of t be the input time reversal is nothing but we have to shift time by minus t minus t is nothing but shifting given inputs to my 180 degrees on time axis how same example let us consider from minus 1 to 1 this will be the f of t now how to do the time reversal put t equal to minus t so that f of minus t this is symmetric one so this will be the same we will get a minus t or plus t minus t equal to minus 1 minus t equal to plus 1 t will be minus 1 t equal to plus 1 as is symmetric one we cannot identify the fruitful one so let us consider example f of t b from 1 to 2 okay now time reversal f of minus t what happens minus t is equal to 1 second one minus t is equal to 2 t equal to minus 1 t equal to minus 2 now what happened is this uh, plus 1 got shifted to minus 1 and this plus 2 got shifted to minus 2 ok this is our f of minus t now let us take the another example of a triangle pulse 
f of t this will be the one this will be the two now applying time reversal f of minus t what happens is minus t is equal to min plus one minus t is equal to two now minus one minus two these are all two new coordinates now what happened is this one value shifted to minus one so minus one this two value shifted to minus two so the peak is a two right so this two value this got reversed like this now we can see the actually what happening when the reversal is done this is shifted by 180 degrees see this one got shifted by minus 180 that is minus one two got shifted to 180 degrees that is minus two right this is how reversal is done in our next video we will see some examples involving this time reversal time shifting and time scaling and the precautions to be taken while applying this when taken in natural order and if we consider in unnatural order what precautions have to be taken so that the graphs will be the same thank you